Welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This is your host, Debbie. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of No Waco. This episode, it's just me, your host, Debbie. And we'll be going over today's blog. So if you guys haven't already, go check us out at nowaco.com slash blog. There you can find out so much information, events, things to do. Um, I usually try to keep it seasonal. So if you guys have not already checked it out, it's nowaco.com slash blog. Today's is winter in Waco. How to holiday in Waco. Waco is a wonderland during the holiday season, so if you need any excuses to grab the whole family and get into the spirit of things, start now. Even those just visiting in winter are in for a treat. The city offers a ton of festive things to do around Christmas time. Christmas lights done right. Waco Trolley can take you on the best tour of Christmas lights in Waco, Texas. Their Waco Christmas light tour features a 28-person trolley that's perfect for any amount of guests. Driving around and looking at Christmas lights is an excellent pastime for many families, and the Waco Christmas Trolley Christmas Light Tour lets you see the best Christmas delights. Christmas lights displays in the greater Waco area. The nostalgic Waco Trolley Bus is decorated in a Christmas-style theme, and each guest is welcome to complimentary hot cocoa. The Waco Trolley Christmas Light Tour is perfect for friends, families, holiday parties, and even corporate events. This tour is seasonal and is offered during the last weeks of December. By sitting back and relaxing on the trolley for the full 90 minutes, you can let them do the driving so that you can enjoy the scenery. If you would prefer to do the driving, most Wacoans have driven along Highway 84 near McGregor and would probably recognize Roger and Lana's Schmidt's house. This couple has been decorating their home since the early 2000s and over the last 20 years expanded to include hundreds of thousands of lights, along with dozens of blow-ups and handmade decorations. They were even showcased on America's Great Christmas Light Fight a few years ago. It's estimated that thousands of people come to see their lights every year, which are on until early January. The Schmitz collect donations for fuzzy friends, with last year's totaling more than $10,000. If you'd like to go check out this impressive holiday light show, they're located at 20 Oak Creek Circle in McGregor. Don't forget about the drinks. Miracle on Austin Avenue at Dichotomy Coffee and Spirits start on November 22nd and runs through December 31st for about five weeks. Dichotomy's bar turns into a Christmas wonderland. It's called Miracle a temporary pop-up event that bars around the world take part in. Miracle is a Christmas-themed pop-up and cocktail bar specializing in over-the-top transformation of local bars into the Christmas wonderland of attendees' dreams. The holiday magic began back in 2014 and is actually based out of New York City. This is only the fourth year Dichotomy has participated in the event, and they have specialty cocktails that are offered in the evening, including the Christmapolitan the Run Run Rudolph, and the Santa Rex. Special holiday mugs are also for sale, with part of the proceeds going to the group Action Against Hunger. Cocktail bar hours are every day from 5 p.m. to midnight. And now, for a word from our sponsors. Hi, this is Sarah. And I'm Carter. And this is Some of Our Thoughts. We're two Southern sommeliers, and we want to share everything we love and know about wine. We started hanging out during quarantine and cooking and drinking and listening to music, and we just thought this would be a great way to bring everything we know to you guys. We will make wine knowledge and food pairings easy and approachable. So put on your favorite vinyl, grab your favorite glass of wine, tune into our show, and let's have some fun. <laughs> so check us out on roguemedianetwork.com or wherever you get your favorite podcast. We'll be talking about a lot. <laughs> Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about... Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us 
looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story and just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best, and we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and Bros and Heroes gonna tell you about Bros and Bros and Heroes gonna tell you about Welcome to One Star Rewind, a new podcast about those dreaded one star reviews that every business owner hates to receive, but yet every customer loves to read. During this podcast, we will peel back that one star review to better understand how it happened, when it happened, and what the business owner is doing after receiving that one star review. This podcast will be about love, hate, and laughter. On One Star Rewind, we will meet with real business owners who will tell their stories and how they do rely on reviews for their business. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or download us at roguemedianetwork.com. Please subscribe, but only rate and review for not a one-star review. Join us each time for a new review and a new story. You might remember me from a show called King of the Hill. Check out Ma, a King of the Hill rewatch podcast. These boys ain't right, but they are funny. Find the Ma podcast anywhere you get your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. I tell you what. <laughs> <sighs> It's Christmas with the city. Travel around the world without leaving Waco by participating in the City of Waco Free Christmas Holiday Around the World program. Stop by our city community centers on December 13th, 14th, 19th, and 21st to experience interactive displays featuring holiday traditions from across the globe. Enjoy cultural crafts and activities at each station. Learn fun facts and fill your passports with stamps to go. So how does it work? One, pick up your free passport at any of the three community centers, including the Bledsoe Miller, the Dewey, or the South Waco. Two, stop by each center on, again, December 13th, 14th, 19th, and 21st to visit their featured countries. And note, all countries will be different at each location. Step three, fill your passports with stamps as you travel through each country. And number four, you can earn exclusive Holiday Around the World ornament after you completed your journey at each site. For program hours and additional information, visit their Facebook page for the City of Waco or the Waco Parks and Rec to find out more. And last but not least, but it is indeed time for silo shopping. It's a month of Mary at the silos from November 25th to December 30th. They've got all sorts of fun things planned to keep you in the Christmas spirit. Bring your loved ones and let's delight in the holiday season together. Cross a few items off your shopping list and take in all the holiday theme festivities at Magnolia Market. Get something from on-site food trucks and stick around for a screening of a timeless holiday movie in the evening, which you'll need to purchase a ticket for. If you're a fan of Chip and Joanna Gaines and you're looking for a fun way to spend part of your holidays in Waco's, you'll definitely don't want to miss out on the Christmas at the Silos. 
those are just a few things that you'll be wanting to head over to for this month of December um, to get in the Christmas time and holiday mood. Um, again, don't forget to go check us out at nowaco.com slash blog. Also, feel free to listen to the podcast there. This will go out um, tomorrow. Um, this is a Friday episode. Don't forget to check us out at roguemedianetwork.com. And I also just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has listened to us for this entire year of 2022. That's so crazy, guys. We are moving into 2023 and we have so many things and so many exciting plans and activities planned. Um, and I just can't wait to share with so many amazing entrepreneurs, artists, and creatives in our community. Also, this Sunday, we'll find out for the final results of the Waco Awards um, at wacoawards.com. Um, the opening night of the award ceremony will be this weekend on the 11th. If you guys want to come out, you're more than welcome to. Um, I don't know if I'll win, but I just want to, again, thank you guys to everybody who voted for me. Um, and I just really appreciate everybody putting in their time and energy. Um, and of course, shout out to all of the other amazing podcasts, as well as the other amazing entrepreneurs, creators creatives, artists in our community that were voted. Um, and again, shout out to A-Ray um, and all of the people over at Waco Awards for actually putting together this event um, and just making it something the community can come together for. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, don't forget to slide in our DMs. We're on everything at no underscore Waco. Um, you can find us, of course, on Instagram. Find us everywhere on all social media platforms, K-N-O-W underscore Waco. Check us out at roguemedianetwork.com and we're on YouTube under Rogue Media Network. Check out nowaco.com. I'm Zach. And I'm Mike. And we have a fantastic new podcast to tell you about. Bros, Foes, and Heroes. It's the two of us looking into the world of comics, breaking down some characters that you may have never heard of, and some that are just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so Zach comes up with a character each time, and uh, I go into it just completely blind. I don't know who this person is or what their abilities are or anything, and, and basically I guess we kind of go over their origin story. And just some of the ridiculous stuff that maybe, especially Golden Age stuff. Oh, Golden yeah. Age stuff is always the best. And we will make sure to highlight all of the shenanigans and just absolute weirdness yeah. of everything. Yeah, that's right. So subscribe today and uh, follow us on Instagram at Bros Bros Heroes. And if you don't, I know where you live. Not really, but please subscribe. <laughs> bros and Bros and Heroes. Gonna tell you about pros and foes and heroes. Gonna Gonna tell tell you about. about. I'm Hank. You might remember me from a show called King of the Hill. Check out Ma, a King of the Hill rewatch podcast. These boys ain't right, but they are funny. Find the Ma podcast anywhere you get your podcasts or at roguemedianetwork.com. I tell you what. <laughs> hmm.